Out to Takashi, man. I, I need Takashi on flagrant, bro. Come on, hook that yeah, up. He's he, he's told me I'm beef with him low key right now, <laughs> just because he's not dropping music. You know, I think he's having, and, and probably as comedians, you guys go through that where it's like, yo, listen, I haven't done something in a while, yeah, and people are expecting what the next thing I do to be like fucking amazing, but it's giving me cold feet. Nobody's expecting that from Takashi. Well, put like this: he's the guy who's always led with the numbers. Yo, I'm bigger than you. I'm yeah. more popular. Fuck you. Like, you're irrelevant. Now, if he comes out because he's blackballed yeah. and he does, like, really average numbers, yeah. what do you say after that? Yeah. What do you I'm, say after that? Live by the numbers, die by the numbers, you know, but that's because... But I've yeah. been trying to tell him, like, yo, you have to get over that shit. Well, you're his, a fucking creator now. His thing that was really interesting is, like, um, like, when I look at artists, and again, like, I'm no fucking music aficionado, like, I'm, I'm the most biggest casual when it comes to music, right? But, like, when you look at the different artists and their impacts and how they're successful... Uh, I think a lot of times artists don't even realize why they're successful, right? Like we were talking, I was talking to Mark about this, um, I got Mark the other day, and we were talking about Eminem. We were, hang, we were hanging out with, uh, you know who Daniel Caesar is? Yeah. He's fucking awesome. Yeah. Great musician, funny guy. And uh, so we were talking, we were talking about Eminem, and like we were breaking down Eminem and why he's struggling now, but he was so successful back in the day. I think Eminem believed that his success was due to his incredible uh, uh, rapping skill. The reality is his success was probably due to his ability to tap into angst, right? And that like, uh, fuck my mom, fuck the family. And that's probably the frequency mm. that everybody was on that liked him. And then the fact that he was so nice at rapping, you couldn't discredit him. validated it. Exactly. But the real reason we were in there is because of what he was, hey, everybody was into these boy bands and he was like, fuck them boy bands. Everybody was into Christine Aguilera. He was Aguilera, representing but, a, a point of view from- It was people. counterculture. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, yeah. punk rock, bro. It yeah. was like pushing back against what the industry was pushing on us and we felt we were being forced on. He this said, is what I like about you, by more. the way, when it, when it comes to hip hop. I feel like I feel like the takes you have comes from a macro perspective. I'm an outsider, it, yo. Like yeah, I it, never it, claim it, to know tons yeah, about yeah, it. It's like I, you're not the guy who's gonna be like, yo, act. Let's let's debate which one of these songs who yeah. killed who. Yeah, like who had the better. I, I don't know. I don't but, care. But, but but you come with pretty some really. I think I give you credit in terms of these macro perspectives that you get to realize. Like I agreed with I you only with look the at um, culture. I, that's what I'm saying. Just to finish up this end yeah. point is like so. M th thinks that he's. Because he's this great lyricist, that's why he's having all this success. Yeah, yeah. But the reality is he tapped into a cultural feeling. He was tapped into the zeitgeist based on that angst. And a lot of us were feeling that angst as well, right? That angst is no longer there. All he's mm. doing now is the lyrical shit, and it's struggling because we never really cared about the lyrical shit. We like that funny dude. So when you look at a guy like Takashi, if I'm Takashi, I'm taking it. What do you think we care about him? I think the initially we liked the fact that he was exposing these rappers. Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. like, yo, these everybody likes a David versus Goliath story. There's a reason that shit is the longest told story in history, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. we like the little kid who's saying fuck you to all the tough guys and nobody's really doing anything. Now, some shit did happen, blah, blah, blah. It yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. So I think we were into that. We were supporting it. was a guy who it. didn't look like a gangster, but, but he's telling all the gangsters, fuck you, and I'm going to show you guys that, listen, I'm just as tough as you, and I'm doing like, I'm, I'm spinning in the rain with an umbrella over my head. Like, exactly. And I'm being goofy. Exactly. I don't have to be tough like you guys claim And genuinely funny. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He, he was genuinely funny. He's an internet kid. He grew up watching the internet. He understands how it works, and he was able to succeed in it. That's why we liked him, and that's what we were really curious about. And then some of the songs were just fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy well, got that wet, wet, got that drip, drip, got that soup. Like, that fucking flow was crazy. Like, Hey, by the way, I don't think the music has changed that much, but I do think what you're saying— and I think it boils a little bit into the music. So, so tell me, so give so, me, give me a fix that like. So, so for him, I'm like, okay, what people like is exposing these people for their fraudulence. Yeah. In the same way that what Eminem did is expose certain people for their fraudulence, right? I think that he can pick bad guys. And then he can kind of troll those bad guys. He just can't do it in the same way anymore because he will end up getting fucking killed and or something horrible is going to happen. Somebody's going to end up getting hurt. That's a lot of times what happens is it, it's not you that gets hurt, but it's the security guard that gets hurt or somebody else ends up getting killed. And low key, that's on you if you keep acting like that, if you keep acting crazy. So, but if he understands how he served us and what he did, I think that he can be successful regardless of the music or not. Like I liked him on Instagram. 
more than I cared about listening to all the music. And there were songs that I really fucking liked and I thought were great. But like, it was more, you know, like I, it was, I have a list of like uh, top rappers whose music I don't listen to. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like Plies. I don't know Plies, but well, like, you know this motherfucker is funny. he's hilarious, bro. Yo, I'm telling you, he is. There, so there's a bunch of these rappers that are just these hilarious characters and it just so happens their day job is rapping, but I like your hobby. Yo, I told 6 9 that when he came back home from jail. Yeah. So what because, should 6ix9ine do? What would you do with 6ix9ine? So 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 I think he's I think he's as well at, at, at a fork in a, like you know road. You know, I told him I'm like, yo, you know why people loved you? You used to get on Instagram live and you used to be doing some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. And it would be enter highly entertaining. Mm -hmm. But I remember like after he got out of jail and he came out, he had two million people watch him. And the next time he had a million. And any other time, I was like, yo. This is like a time you would go on Instagram Live. Like he was always kind of like beholden to the numbers. Right? Mm -hmm. He was like, "Well, because nah. he don't care about the art of the music, he cares about success." Yes, yeah, so, so, and that's what I'm saying. So I think he was looking like, "Well, if I get on this shit, and people look at it and be like, well, he's not pulling a million anymore,' well, this guy fell off." But in reality, you have to be you, and and and, and that's one of my things. Even with him, like yo, he got some great music, mm. but like you know. I've always thought this. He's a he's one of the greatest marketers has ever yeah. touched hip hop. Yeah, ever. Yeah, music, music not just in hip hop. General music and his skills as being a marketer Genius. is has surpassed his skills as being a rapper a million fold. Yeah, that he has the music now, but he's figuring out the marketing. But even then, I'm saying to him, Dude. listen, it, it, it if, will become yeah. a time where there will be no perfect storm. It, if I'm him, I get in touch with what I like creating. What do you mean you don't need me to like? Well, I, I, I need to watch you because you don't need me to like you. Hey, I've used uh, another rapper, which, which I think you you got it. I've heard about this guy, NBA Young Boy. Yeah, of course. He operates the closest to me like a YouTube vlogger. Mm. Remember when Jake Paul was just putting out vlogs every day? The dude drops a music video at 2.10 a.m. Mm. Randomly. It'll, it'll just be super random. He deleted his Instagram, no Instagram. The only communication, he'll just have something in the description. Hey, I'm dropping a mixtape in two weeks. That's the only thing in the description. Drops randomly. His fans are always on, like, let's refresh his page. He could be dropping a music. Mm. Tell us when he's dropping. He drops frequently. Mysterious. If he's, if he's shooting a music video, it's not like, when if you get director X, right, and say they shoot a music video with Drake and, and Future, right? They did a, a song called Life is Good. Mm -hmm. That video comes out three months later. I FaceTime this motherfucking yeah. NBA young boy. He's shooting a music video. The next day, the video's out. They did a song called Life is Good. <laughs> Maybe you're familiar? Nah, I don't know. I don't know what you the fuck you be listening to. <laughs> like I'm fuck from you. fucking Sweden or something like that. What the fuck did you play as your wedding? future, bro. <laughs> Shit. Yo, look, Go on. Well, 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 you know why I also say that? And, yeah. and we'll get to my next point. Sometimes, so, I'm, so clearly I'm doing this off the record podcast on Spotify. Yeah. But I kind of feel at times like there's a ceiling above my head because mm. I'm in music. Mm. As much popular, you see, you see this. This is exactly you're in culture. How I look. You're not in music. You just don't realize it. Well, okay. Well, well, I'm in culture, but here's the thing: it's small. It's a there's a ceiling to be hit. It's a it's a reason why for me, little baby is the biggest thing. For you, you're like no. What are you talking about? Now, I'll give you an example. Yeah. 